Right now, they're living in the middle of a pandemic and have to worry about online schooling, job freezes, and a global economy that is reportedly headed into a recession. In fact, 75% of Gen Zers say this pandemic has affected their worldview. And there's no doubt about it, Gen Zers are stressed, and they'll tell you that if you sit down and talk to them. While Gen Zers are reportedly less optimistic about the future, they still believe they can make an impact through activism with such issues as climate change, racial equality, and gun violence. Today, this hour will be filled with young guests who have burning questions for me. So let's just get started. My first guest, Mitchell, is a social media influencer with over three million followers, and he's known for his short comedic skits. Take a look. Hey, I'm dumb. Hey, I'm vegan. I say tender's a numbers game, so uh, maybe I can get yours. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Phil, this is Mitchell Crawford, a TikTok creator from Atlanta, Georgia. Our house, our rules. Hey, why can't I see your location anymore? Should you turn that off or... Come on. No, 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 you're not having friends over. It's a school night. Look, we're not strict parents, but we're involved. I heard the toilet flush, but not the sink. It's okay, go back, try again. Janet stayed in LA during a pandemic. Hey mom, here's your charger back. Oh, did you wash your hands? Just makes it easier to breathe. Where's the manager? Honey, get back here. No, no, you are not leaving this house. You're under quarantine. Honey, don't make me count to three. <laughs> well, Mitchell, it's good to meet you. It's good to be here. Uh, you have fun on TikTok, right? I do, I have a lot of fun on TikTok. And it's interesting that your comedy, you don't have jokes at other people's expense. You have jokes at your own expense. You I, have, I it's, do. You're not humiliating people or pranking people. You're doing this just at your own expense, your own life, your own experience. Yes. What kind of feedback do you get from people about what you put up? Do they relate to it? It's like, I, I, I see that, I get that, been there, had that experience. What, what, do, you, what do you hear? I, I hear I'm in a lot of family group chats yeah. with moms and dads, because I impersonate them. as. You played before, so uh, yeah, a lot of family group chats, I think. Yeah. A lot of families, yeah. Now, you had a question for me, and it was that you, you said, and I'm quoting you now, I know times are tough right now. How important is it for social media to bring light uh, into the world? You got it. And I, I'm glad you asked that question, because from a psychological perspective, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of tension. People are worried about, you know, economy, disease, future of jobs, things like that. And to have a time out, to, to have a break, and to see something like the content you're putting out, to me is critically important for people. I think it's, if, if you just sit down and, and click on and, and watch like your channel, your, your videos for five or 10 minutes, you can't come away from that and not have a smile on your face and a, and a tension release and feel better. So I think, it's, I think it's critically important. I mean, don't you agree? Oh, I totally agree, yes, yes. It's so important and it's uh, just a great way to spend time uh, thinking about something fun, something happy, instead of what's going on in the world. What I'm more concerned about is well, and first off, there's a lot of work that goes into those, right? Yes, there is. There's a lot of planning. There's a lot of production. There's a lot of scripting. You have to shoot it two or three times from each angle. You've got. I mean, what I worry about is keeping a balance where you don't take on the burden of entertaining everybody all the time, and you take care of yourself too. Do you do that? I do, um, and I've uh, found different ways. I think it. At first, maybe that was a struggle, but um, it's always a balance. I think it's really important to compartmentalize what you do and not forget about real person relationships and you know getting out and jogging, the sports, having fun with friends, which is real hard in this day and time with the pandemic and all. Do you have personal friends you hang out with? And I do, yes. So I'm a sophomore in college. I found some great people and, and you're right, that inner circle and uh, you know, Work-wise, you got to focus on the outer circle, but uh, personal relationships are really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really also, good. Also, being mentally healthy and you know having close people who support you is is key. I think your content actually has a mental health impact that's very positive, other than just the levity of it. 